334, 335, 336, 337, 338, 330. Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? Wyatt X Part 3. I'm stuck in a tree here. Everyone's favorite YouTuber who stutters and mispronounces. And today, we're doing more parodies. Yay! Another group of YouTubers that probably you guys watch on a daily basis, all parodied by yours truly right here. So, uh, yeah, let's get it going. The Rageaholic. My, oh my, is this getting sickening just like them shitty subpar comedy specials on Netflix that are aired every month? Magua, aka everyone's favorite hooded fuck nuggets, are actually in controversy as of recently because supposedly they have ties to a controversial alt-right metal band, alright? And you know who's to blame for this thinking? It's the fucking liberal media brainwashing these fuckheads to be so fucking sensitive over anything that doesn't agree with their views, alright? And that's the thing with this world right now. It's becoming so ungodly sensitive that it's just basically now a giant fucking pussy that is so stretched out it looks like a sideways fucking stingray, alright? That's how sensitive the world has become now, alright? You know who's to blame for McGuaw now actually having to cancel shows because of this controversy? You guessed it, it's them fucking anti-fags, always bashing the fash, yet you're always targeting people who are fucking innocent like Magua. Magua is a nihilist black metal band that has no political ties, alright? So you can't be friends with someone who's remotely right-wing? Oh, that's right, only the good guys are on the left wing. Yeah, always bashing in fucking Starbucks and crying like fucking bitches because Donald Trump got elected three years ago and you're still trying to impeach that fucking pumpkin. All right, you guys are fucking pathetic, I must add, all right? And you know what's the worst part about this all is that it's just so fucking shitty from Agua. all right? There's more shit in this than the fucking dung piles that are seen on the fucking Jurassic Park movies, all right? It's getting so fucking out of hand now and I just can't take it anymore, and I, for one, am totally against the fucking liberal media, and I can't stand these anti-fags targeting my fucking free speech, along with McGuaw's fucking free speech, for hanging out with alt-right fucking dudes, alright? And you know what also as well? I'm glad that McGuaw's actually taken back to this, and actually counters to these fuckheads for ruining these awesome black metal bands, alright? I think this world has gone to complete shit, and anything that's remotely liberal is just retarded. All right, libtards, you ever heard of that? Yeah, exactly, I bet you have. And this is another thing too, you ever heard of the fucking horseshoe effect? Yeah, the horseshoe effect, you know, when you go so far right or so far left, it comes back full circle, all right? So bash the fash, yeah, bash your own faces and you fucking morons, all right? That's all I gotta say for this. I'm Razor Fist, God fucking speed. EQP TV. And yeah, guys, I'm just gonna break for a little bit on YouTube and be right back. Huzzah! It is I, Elliot, back from my hiatus after one year. Not much has changed about me besides this manly voice right here that I have acquired through puberty. Odium Nostrum. Th this just sounds like Decibel Omega. Varg. <sighs> has the Lords of Chaos movie been accurate? Let's find out. No. Like always, I like to be in my car and procrastinate certain ideas and topics that are really controversial. And it seems like no matter how much I try to stay away from this black metal scene, it keeps coming back to me because of my project Buzzum. And as of recently in the media, there has been the topic of the Lords of Chaos, where it has portrayed me to be this evil, maniacal being. When really I was just an angsty teenager and all these accusations about me are completely false. For one, I did not have a threesome with these skanky hoary girls. Be honest guys, no black metal musician ever gets fucking laid. And the second and most decriminalizing thing they did about me was they had a fat Jew play as me. I am not a fat Jew. I am not fat, nor am I Jewish. Ugh, just all of this is really aggravating me. And there's really only one thing I like to do to get off all this aggravation. Let's sing a few songs. Surviden hung dying in surviden la Sturhi hun ni hul na 
surviving, 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 blah, surviving, blah. Now, another topic I want to discuss, porn. Should you watch it? Let's find out. No. Also, as well, there have been a lot of accusations that I'm a white supremacist. Am I? Let's find out. Now, I wouldn't say I'm racist, so to say, but I just want the European nature not to be sacrificed by all these immigrants coming through and destroying the culture that Europe is so known for and great for. Alright? I don't want there to be mass genocide of a certain race. It's just I want Europe to be what it always was. White. Black Metal Rebellion. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host, Jesse Morgan. And before we get into this little CD update right here, I just want to tell you guys about my Jesse Vines videos that I've been working on. Because, you know, Vine videos are still totally relevant. So uh, check some of these masterpieces out. When you want to get a record, but you don't have enough money. Aw, oh, fuck! When you want to go to a show, but it's too far away. Aw, oh, fuck! Yeah, guys, I worked on them for a whole 30 minutes, so I hope you enjoy that. So anyway, let's get on to showing some records, or CDs rather. Uh, first one here, this is Dying Fetus, with Descend Into Depravity. Uh, I will say this, I love this album, but that, sorry for the glare, that gun right there, not really a fan of it. I'm very anti-gun. I mean, I like everyone to have their own freedoms and whatnot, but guns, no, I do not like guns at all. So here's the uh, inside of it. Now, most people don't show the booklet because it wastes a lot of time, but I'm going to show it. So, yeah, Dying Fetus, Death Metal, it's brutal, very fast, and really brutal. That's what I like about Dying Fetus. Now, again, the artwork can be very disturbing, as again, there is, yep, there's another gun. Not liking that. Really not liking that. Um, then we have a baby. Not liking that at all. No. No. Then that right there, that looks like a horror movie. Might start doing horror movie reviews again because no one's asking for that. Um, then there's that. Looks like a uh, PlayStation 3 game. Pretty neat. And the inside of that, very glossy, I must say. But, oh yeah, anyway, there's the guys right there, Dying Fetus. Again, very fast and brutal death metal. So if you like really fast and brutal death metal, t check out Dying Fetus. Very happy I got this in my record store for three bucks. So yeah, guys, that's uh, it for this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and join me on my Sinister Sundays where we talk about topics that basically a second grader could figure out. Punk Rock MBA. Hey, what's up, you guys? Finn McKenzie here, a.k.a. the four-year-old who's totally forgotten he's not 22 anymore. And today we're going to do another video on my series of What Killed the Genre, a video series where I spend up to nearly 20 minutes telling you guys a history of a certain genre where I could easily break it down into just under a minute stating that there's a new genre. People like new genre. New genre gets a following. It becomes trendy in the underground. It actually peaks. Then people don't care for it anymore because it's not trendy anymore like any other trend. Then it dies even though it's still there and the underground. I could basically do every video like that, but then if I did that, then I wouldn't have time to show off these awesome ads like... Wix website, a random website where you can help build your own website. What I really like about this website a lot is that there's just a lot of colorful pictures and people smiling to make me feel all giddy and happy inside. First 100 people to subscribe to this get a free subscription until you totally forget you're subscribed to this and then a month later you get billed $15. Yeah, I know guys, what a deal. So on this video, we're going to be talking also about melodic death metal, which, you know, I find melodic death metal to be a very un threatening genre and it doesn't really make any sense calling something melodic death metal that's like non-alcoholic vodka all right now i don't know much about melodic death metal because i totally don't know that intestine balsam house of atreus sentenced or argus lint exists but then again i can't like argus lint because as i've stated i'm also very pc which helps me not find all them threatening death metal bands out there that I complained about earlier. So, you know, kind of walked into a wall there being PC, but also complaining that I can't find threatening death metal bands. 
But what I really like about Death Metal 2 is that it's still in pop culture today like it was before, okay? There's still hints of it out there. Just listen to a day to remember. When you hear them harsh vocals kick in, that, that just sounds like death metal right there. And yeah, I've actually said that. That's not part of this parody video at all. I mean, you know, I also worked at Metal Sucks, so you gotta take my word for it because I'm really a reliable source, guys. But uh, yeah, join me next week where I do another video where I get all my facts from Wikipedia pages. Banger TV. Hey guys, I'm Wyatt and welcome back to Banger TV, aka the CNN of metal YouTubers. And in today's- whoa! Hey, guy, you don't have to zoom in every time I'm done with a sentence. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a monthly roundup of great albums that were released for this month of May. Basically what this is, is where we do really, really quick reviews that albums that these individuals reviewed, only we put as nowhere as much time or in depth or description about it. So definitely check out this album. It's really good because, well, it's really fast. Then I would recommend this album right here. It's really good because it's really slow. And then I would say the best album of this month goes to this one right here because it's both, get this, really fast, and then it goes really slow, and then it goes really fast. So yeah guys, hopefully you discovered some great music through those wonderful reviews I just did. Also be sure to subscribe to our Patreon page, that way this channel can stay afloat. Well actually it doesn't really need the money because we all we have to do to keep it afloat is just not delete it. But with your patron subscriptions, what it will help us do, guys, is get us money, give the underground more support, that, or you could just not watch us go out yourself and actually buy a record with your own money, but then we don't get money. So really, guys, keep up with our patron page, give us the most you can, and it will really help us out tremendously. Not you, though, but us, mostly. 